Hi, I'm Kirby Allison, and we love to help the well-dressed take care of their wardrobes. Today I'm in Paris, France, right on the Champs-Élysées. It's a beautiful day here, a blue sky, plenty of sun. It's about 70 degrees with a light breeze. And uh, I've got just a few hours left before all the shops close today. And so I'm gonna run around. There's a few errands I need to, uh, to run uh, before the shops close. So come along with me as we run by some of my favorite places here in Paris. Here we are at our first stop here in the 8th arrondissement, just a few blocks off of the Champs-Élysées in front of Ateliers Baudin. Uh, this is uh, one of the premier bespoke eyeglass manufacturers here in Paris where they're crafting all of their eyeglasses uh, from solid horn and shell. And so I had them make a pair of glasses for me last year that I just need to run in and have them check. Let's go. Bonjour, Guillaume. Bonjour. <laughs> nice Hi. to Great see you see again. Great to see you I have you to say, again. the weather today in Paris is beautiful. Beautiful. So happy to be here. I appreciate you seeing me on such short notice. But uh, let's take a look at the glasses that you made for me back yes. in last April. Okay. All right. Here we are inside Atelier Baudin. You're doing some incredible handmade bespoke glasses here in Paris. What's particularly special about Atelier Baudin is their capacity to source not just horn, but shell. Shell are considered some of the most exclusive and rare material to make eyeglasses out of because they haven't been able to source any of this since the Washington Convention in 1974, whenever it was outlawed to procure new uh, tortoise shell. From what they say, wearing a pair of shell glasses is like wearing a second skin. You hardly even know you're wearing glasses. The price of shell glasses can range anywhere from 3,000 euros for a pair of black pair, all the way up to 25,000 uh, euros for some of the most rare shell, the blonde shell, of which less than 5% of the remaining shell is this color. Now, of course, my glasses aren't being made out of shell. I'm having my glasses made out of some incredible horn. Now, this is the same horn we use in all of our shoe horns and collar stays. Uh, and uh, Atelier Baudin can make an equally beautiful pair of glasses. One of the techniques that makes these especially unique uh, is Guillaume's capacity to actually curve the side of this out of one piece of horn. So instead of it being hinged right on the front of the glasses, the hinge is on the side. Normally this is something only possible with acetate. Atelier Baudin is at making some absolutely incredible glasses. Guillaume is a commensurate gentleman, an incredible craftsman, very passionate about his work, and it's been a complete honor to be able to have them do a pair of glasses. We've got a few adjustments they have to make for the first pair, but I can't wait to get those back. So great meeting with Guillaume and Atelier Bourdin. Our, our next stop is gonna be Crockett and Jones. I'm gonna go see Dimitri Gomez. Uh, I've dropped off my uh, black uh, Capto semi brogue with him, and he's doing a little bit of stretching just to create a little bit more room in them. And so I left them last time I was here, and we're gonna go pick those up from him. Here we are at Crockett and Jones. We're still at the 8th arrondissement. Uh, and inside is Dimitri Gomez, uh, one of uh, Paris's best bespoke shoemakers. Check out the video we did on him on our YouTube channel. Let's run inside. So that was a quick stop with Dimitri Gomez inside of Crockett and Jones. Next we're going to be walking to the Place Vendôme uh, where I'm going to go visit Charvet and of course my good friends the DeLucas at Stark and Sons. Let's go. So here we are at the second to last stop today. I'm in front of the House of Charvet, probably one of my favorite places to visit whenever I'm here in Paris. Anyone that is a sartorial aficionado or just loves clothing should absolutely make a stop by Charvet. It's magnificent, one of the best places in Paris to visit for anyone that loves their clothing. If you go to Charvet, make sure you don't just walk into the ground floor, but ask to be shown up to the second floor, as we'd say in English, or the first floor in French, where they have the bespoke salon for all their shirting. In one room, there's more bespoke shirting than in any single room anywhere that I've ever seen in the world. Absolutely amazing. I'm gonna pick up some white shirts that I had them make the last time I was here. I have a shirt for my daughter Paloma uh, that I'm picking up, uh, and then I'm being fitted for a trial collar of a new collar that I designed last time I was here in Paris.
Here we are, last stop of the day. I'm in front of Stark & Sons, or Comps de Luca, one of the preeminent Parisian bespoke tailoring houses. The Comps de Luca bespoke pieces are widely considered some of the best tailoring available anywhere in the world. And their Stark & Sons program, which is a petite monsieur, semi-bespoke program, is one of the better values out there. More than made to measure, but not quite bespoke. It offers a level of customization that you would otherwise not find in a made to measure program. Everything is drafted and cut here uh, at the Stark & Sons facilities and then sent to Italy where it's finished. I've got a piece in work right now, but it's not quite ready, but I'm still gonna drop in and say hi to Julian and Charles De Luca. Let's go. Okay, we just finished with Stark & Sons, Comps de Luca. Now it's time to go grab a sandwich at a famous sandwich shop right around the corner. Right across from Charvet, around the corner from the Place Vendôme, is the La Petite Vendôme, one of Paris's most famous sandwich shops and a great place to grab a quick bite after a long day. One of my favorites is their ham and cheese sandwich on one of their famous baguettes. Let's go inside. Paris is the birthplace of haute cuisine, but sometimes you just need a simple ham and cheese sandwich. And here in Paris, there's no better place than La Petite Vendôme. Cheers. Of course, I almost forgot. Last but not least is a stop by La Dure for some of their favorite macarons for the office and for the family. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up and please subscribe to our channel and turn on your notifications by clicking the bell to the right of the subscribe button so that you can learn whenever we release new videos. If you have any questions or comments about anything we discussed on this video, please ask them in the comments section below. And of course, please visit hangerproject.com where we have the largest, most comprehensive collection of luxury garment care and shoe care accessories in the world, as well as many other incredible products for the well-dressed. And while you are there, subscribe to our newsletter to receive notifications of new product launches, promotions, as well as a weekly digest of all the videos we publish here on our YouTube channel.